I wanted to just do some more basic grouping and counting and filtering exercises, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it up right now. Uh, just so that if you're more on the beginner side of this whole thing, you can kind of understand what the thought process is. Um, so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at film. So film has uh, the film ID. Let's just take a look at it. All right, so we've got the film ID, the title, the description, and the release year. Let's uh, alias it as F, and then let's just get the uh, film ID, F dot title, release year, and um, why don't we do, yeah, that's fine. So we've got some data from film. Now, what if we wanted to figure out what actors were in it, right? So every film has actors. So if we look over here on the left, what table might have information about the actors in the film? Well, film actor might have that information. That sounds like a good idea. So we could, we could join this data to the film table. So we're, gonna, we're still starting with from film, but we're gonna do a left join um, to film actor, I'm going to call that FA on F dot film ID equals FA dot film ID. And the key thing here, I'm just going to put a little space in so you can see it more clearly. And this is how I organize my joins from base table that you're using and then what you're joining on to. And we do see that the, uh, we know in film we have a film ID and we know in film actor we have a film ID. And just for your own edification, uh, in film, film ID is the primary key. Um, and generally a primary key is, is the first key in the table, and it's a key that can't repeat itself um, at any point in the table. And if you think about if we had a table with all the films and all the actors, you would have the key repeating over and over again for every actor. So for instance, you might have, you know, Film one, uh, George Clooney, and then you would have film one, you know, say uh, Bruce Willis was in it. Then you'd have film two, and you'd have Steven Seagal. Film two, um, you know, some other actor. So a primary key can't repeat itself. That's why the tables are split up into film and film actor, because of the inclusion of actor, we would have to repeat the film ID multiple times and that violates uh, database design principles. We're not really gonna get into that in this course, but just trying to you know, give a conceptual framework for some of the folks that are a little bit newer to this, maybe than some other folks. So uh, we just completed this join here, and let's just run it to see if it works, and, and it did work. Um, the thing to note here is we did not add any columns from film actor, so Let's do that. In Film Actor, we have the actor ID. So let's add fa.actor ID and hit run. Okay. And let's make sure we're ordering by, order by the first column, which is Film ID, and also by the last column, which is Actor ID. Okay, great. So now we can see that uh, Academy Dinosaur, which is probably a great imaginary film, we had hmm, one actor, two, uh, we had a lot of actors in this one, right? So what did we have? We had 10 different actors. In Ace Goldfinger, we only had hmm, four. So again, we joined film to film actor. We now have uh, a repeating row for every film because the uniqueness of the row is now a combination of the film and the actor in the film. So what if we just wanted to say, you know, which film has the most actors? Well, let's do one thing. Um, everything is a table. And I'll repeat that and you'll see it. Everything is a table. So watch this. Let's just prove it. So I'm going to go up here again. I'm going to select everything from what we just wrote. 
It might look a little strange, but we're going to do it over and over and over and over again. And you're going to have to alias it. I'm just going to call it T. You can put whatever you want here. You could put Jeff. Doesn't matter. Let's just use T as a convention. A lot of people are familiar with T and they use it. So why buck the trend? Um, great. So now that we have this table that we can select from, um, it's T. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to look at uh, t.filmid. Then we're going to want to see the number of rows for each film ID. And of course, how we do that, we just use count, count star. And in order to mix uh, columns and aggregates, a film ID is a column, a count is an aggregation or an operation, we need to make sure we're grouping by uh, the column that we're aggregating uh, four, so to speak. So group by one, which corresponds to film ID. There we go. And we can order by the second column, which is the number of actors in the film. And I'm group, when I use group by one and order by one, I'm just referring to the index of the column. So this is column one, this is column two. So let's run it. And there we go. Film ID uh, 508 has uh, 15 actors in it. Great. So let's, uh, let's take it a step further here and keep talking about joins. I'm just going to copy this down. I'm going to comment this out. Command K on a Mac, Control K on a Windows machine if you're in PG Admin. And uh, Shift Tab goes backward. So now we know that Academy Dinosaur had uh, several actors in it. What if we wanted to get the actor name? You'll notice that in the actor film actor table, we did not get access to the actor name, but we did get the actor ID. So we have that. We need to probably go to another table to find the actor name. Uh, as you might guess, the actor table has the first and last name of the actor. So we're going to have to do another join. Um, Control D or another command that I'm sure you can find if you Google it copies the road down, and we're going to join in actor A on uh, fa.actorid, this guy, that's already working based on this join, uh, equals a.actorid, and let's get a first name. All right, let's make sure it works here, and we're good. Sorry about that, my dog's just excited for a moment. Um, so now we have Academy Dinosaur, uh, first name. Let's just get last name too, so we can kind of make heads or tails of it. These are not real actors, but yeah, Penelope Guinness, Christian Gable, Lucille Tracy, so on and so forth. So again, that's a good kind of introductory example to uh, joining, um, ordering, grouping, the fact that everything is a table and uh, hopefully that'll help you get up to speed a little bit. If you have any questions or concerns, this is the easy stuff. So try to master it. You know, just ping me with any questions. I'm sure some of the other folks will also help out if you get a little lost. So great.